Hello friends, welcome to our channel Brain Exploders, where we share all kinds of brain boosters, teasers, puzzles, riddles and stumping questions. Today, we will discuss about a famous cacao needle problem. In this video, we have discussed a wrong method which is on many other websites and YouTube videos. In its next part, we will discuss the correct method. So let's start the video by discussing the problem. What is the minimum area swept in rotating a needle of length 1 unit through an angle of 360 degrees? So this is the problem. Suppose this is the needle and we have to rotate it by considering a condition that the area swept should be minimum. At first, uh, person thinks that it should be rotated along its center something like this but this is not the minimum area swept we have to minimize this as much as we can so we will discuss this in three steps in first step we will prove that we can send needle to any parallel position without swiping any area. In second step, we will know how to use above trick in this problem and in third step, we will discuss the final problem, we will rotate the needle. So here is the first step. Let's start with finding the minimum area swept in transferring the needle from one position to other parallel position. Suppose this is the needle and we have sent it to a parallel position so here you have seen that this is the area swept but if we try something different if we first move it in horizontal direction and then rotate it a little and then again send it to the final position and again rotate it a little then the area shown in the orange shed is swept here which we can clearly see is reduced and if we increase this horizontal motion then we will get the lesser areas and if we send the needle to infinity in a similar way then we will get zero area swept here so, in this way, we can transfer the needle to any parallel position without swiping any area and we will call it a trick move. Now, in second step, we will know how to use this trick move. Suppose, this is the path traced by a needle. Now, here, this area is swept by it. So here we can remove all that area in which needle is sent from one to another parallel position. Now this is the third step and here we have to rotate the needle. Suppose needle is rotated in this equilateral triangle. So let's do something here. Let's divide it into equal parts and this time we will rotate it like this. Here the area shown on the screen is swept by the needle. So by using this trick move we can remove this area. But finally we got nothing because no area is reduced here. So let's try something different. Here we have reduced some area. Hence dividing the shape and overlapping the pieces is beneficial instead of spreading them. This time we will rotate needle something like this. In the first half then in the parallel position and uh, 
again. So here we have rotated the needle by 60 degree in a lesser area. Now we have to remember these three points. Rotate the needle inside any sector keeping its one end fixed on the center. Divide the sector into smaller sectors. Now overlap them in any way without rotating any of them means without rotating any of the sector or triangle whatever we have considered. So if you have any confusion in these points so please rewind the video and clear your doubts and then proceed. So why only two divisions? Let's try with some more divisions. Here we have divided the triangle into six parts. Now we will overlap them something like this and after this starting from the first part we will rotate the needle and since uh, the area shift in the parallel transverse is zero so we can transfer the needle from one part to another part without swiping any area. Now this is the initial position of the needle and we have if we rotate it then the area of the first sector or the first triangle will be swept and then we will send it to the another part and when it is rotated again the area in the second part is swept and similarly we will transfer it to the third part without swiping any area since we are using the trick move again and again and again in transferring the needle from one part to another parts and when we are rotating the needle then some area is swept and in this way we will send the needle finally to the last sector and we will be able to rotate the needle through an angle of 60 degree in some lesser area and if we keep on increasing the divisions then the area is going to be lesser and lesser hence more the number of divisions lesser is the area swept and if we keep on increasing the number of divisions then we can rotate the needle without swiping any area amazing now we can rotate the needle without swiping any area it sounds good but unfortunately it is wrong so if you get what is wrong in this video then please tell us in the comments we will discuss on it in the next part of this video and don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel brain exploders thanks for watching